Okay, good afternoon. So uh, my name's Jill and I'm gonna do some strength and balance exercises with you today. Uh, I encourage you to just do as much as is okay for you. Um, and uh, we'll just see how we get on. So we're gonna start in this seated position here and we want to try and warm the body up. So we want to do um, some exercises to um, get that going. So we're gonna do a thing called circulation booster. So what happens is we start to march with the feet. Now, I don't want tend to what march too fast. It's about bringing the legs up and down. I tend to point the toes down as well. So you get some movement into your ankles. And I feel it's a bit like your feet coming out of mud and then down again. So we're just getting some movement going. We're warming up the body. We're getting the circulation around the body as we do this. Just stop for the feet. This time we're gonna work with the arms. So we're gonna move one arm forward and back like this. And when you take it forward and then take it back, just take it that little bit further with the shoulder, if that's okay for you. So we can do one arm, we could do the other arm. So we can take the arms forward and back, try and bring your elbows in close to your body. And then we can put the marching in as well with the feet and it can go a little bit faster. Really just starting to get some movement into the body. Excellent. Just really starting to move the legs and the arms. And then we're going to rest. So just rest for a moment or two. And again, take an easy breath in. And uh, we're going to move on to a head movement, still sitting. We can do these standing, but I'm doing them seated at the moment. So we're going to turn the head to one side and then come back to the front. We're going to turn the head to the other side and come back to the front. I'm suggesting we do it three times each way, but if three times is too much for you, then please stop. Okay, last time, turning to one side, turning to the other side and coming back. Okay, so this time we're gonna put a, a twist in here. Same where you turned your head, it's gonna be the trunk of the body that turns as well this time. So we're gonna turn and come back to the front. We're gonna turn and come back to the front. We're gonna turn Come back to the front. Each time you come back to the front, just hover for a moment or two before you start again. Last time, coming back and again and coming back. Okay, we're going to lower those arms down. So this time we're going to do some ankle movement. So to do this, you might want to sit back in the chair. If you need to hold the chair, we're going to lift one leg and stretch it. And then we're going to point the toes away and back towards you. So the heels away, toes away, heel away, toes away, heel away. And we're going to bend the knee and lower the foot down. Same thing on the other side, lift and stretch. Point the toes away and then the heel away. Toes away, heel away, toes away, heel away. And we're going to bend the knee and lower the foot down. So this time we're going to do um, a front knee strengthening exercise. You can do that with ankle weights on if you want to, but you can do it equally as well without. So we're starting with our knees hip width apart, feet hip width apart. And what you're gonna do, you can hold the chair if you need to. We're gonna take one leg forward and up and we're taking it up to the count of three. 
as we lower it, we're going to lower it slowly down to the count of five and we're going to take it back underneath the chair a bit. So start again, leg going forward and up to the count of three, coming down and under to the count of five. And again, take it forward as you can feel. You don't necessarily need weights on your leg for it to be hard and work for you. So lower that foot down, we're gonna to go to the other leg. So same thing again, leg goes forward and we stretch. Leg comes down slowly, slowly, slowly and through. And again, leg goes forward and stretch. Leg comes down and through and again, forward, stretch, bend the knee and lower the foot down. So that's great. So we've been working on front knee strengthening. So it's these muscles in the front of the thighs that we're working with. From here, we wanna come up to standing. So we're gonna shuffle forward, so hip walk forward on the chair till you come to like the first third of the chair. And when you do, just put your feet flat on the floor. Okay, don't need to use your hands unless you need to, but use them if you have to. We're gonna push down through the feet and come up to standing. Okay, so push down and power up and come up to standing. Now, once we're here, we're gonna do what we call paddling. So it's like walking on the spot. So the heels come off the floor, but the toes sort of stay there. Um, and you're just getting used to standing up rather than sitting down. Just getting the circulation going through the feet and the legs again. And then we're just gonna stand there for a moment or two. I'm gonna adjust my camera in a minute. Um, and just, Get that feel of standing, yeah, being aware of standing rather than sitting. Make sure you still feel okay. And then if you do, we're going to move round to the right hand side of the chair and do some work with the chair. So I'm just going to move that up a little bit. Okay, so here's my chair. Okay, so you did you strengthen the front muscles of the leg, the front thigh muscles. Now we're gonna strengthen the back thigh muscles. So thigh being the upper part of the leg. So again, we're standing hip width apart. And when you do, you're gonna slide one leg back and then take it off the floor, bending the knee and bringing the foot up. And as you breathe, move down slowly, 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 until you reach the floor. So the same thing, the principle, you take it back and you're going up for the count of three. But when you come down, you come down slowly, slowly, slowly to the count of five. The most benefit you get is if you do one leg first and then you do the other. But if you feel it's too much for you and you feel you need to, we're doing the other leg. If you feel you need to alternate it, then that's much better than not doing it at all. Yeah? So take it back. So you slide it back, bend the knee, and then lower it down slowly. So although we're working in the muscles at the top of the leg, this is strengthening around your knee. Okay, so just ease out. We've done front thigh, back thigh. Now we're gonna work on the side here. So we're gonna take the leg out to the side. So all the time, feet hip width apart, lifting up through the body, holding onto the chair if you need to. I always like to use a chair, but can work without. We're gonna do side hip strengthening this side. Okay, so this time we're gonna take the leg out to the side and lower it back down. So same principle, we go out for the count of three 
and we slowly come back down to the count of five. And again, take it out to the count of three and back to the count of five. We want to do the same thing on the other leg. You can do it with the chair beside you. And sometimes that's easier to see when you demonstrate. So outside leg, the other leg goes out and you slowly come back. So if you wanted to, you could take the arm out as well and slowly come down. So you get a bit of movement in the arm, but you're also doing good for the legs. And lower down, okay. So just ease out once again, and this time. We're going to face our chair, but we're going to come up onto our toes. So you come up onto your toes and you hold. And then as you lower, you lower the heels down slowly, slowly, slowly. And so that's the count of five. So when you take the weight forward, think about the big toe and the next toe and try and put the weight over those toes and come up counting three and lower down slowly to the count of five. And again, come up onto the toes to the count of three and come down to the count of five. So that's working on the calf muscles, the lower part of the leg here. So now we want to do toe raising. So we come back onto the heels and the toes come up. And we lower the toes down slowly again to the count of five. So when you're ready, okay, toes come up to the count of three. And we lower them down to the count of five. One more time, coming up and holding and coming down. Very good. And so we want to ease out there. <clears throat> so I want to stand to the side of the chair. We're going to do um, a one leg stand. So you want to be comfortably close not too far away from the chair if you need that support. Okay, your feet starting off hip width apart. The, the leg that's nearest your chair is your standing leg, that's not gonna change. So it's this other leg, the outside leg. We're going to lift the foot, bend the knee and hold it there. And we're gonna hold for the count of 10. You can, if you want to take the arm up as well. It's entirely up to you. But this is going to improve your balance. And then we're going to lower it down. And when you've completed, just turn back to your chair. Just take a rest in between. And then we want to turn to the other side. So I'm going to turn my chair around so you can see me. Foot nearest the chair, stays where it is. Feet are hip width apart. When you're ready, this outside leg's coming up. And you don't want to take your knee higher than your hip. And we're holding there for the count of 10. And then we're going to lower that leg down. Okay, very good. So we're going to turn the chair back around. We're going to come round to the front of the chair and sit down. And then when we do, okay, just to cool down, we're going to take, we we'll come forward a bit on the chair. Depends again how long your legs are. So one leg's extended out in front. We're going to turn a bit so you can see. Well, that was the idea. No, that's better. 
Okay, but I'll do it on that leg so you can see. So this leg is extended, your heels on the floor, but you're not doing anything strong with this. The knee is soft. But this leg here, we're going to bend it. And with our hands, we're just going to come forward onto that knee. Keep your back straight, but ease forward. And just hold that position. Keep breathing in and out. Hold to the count of 10. Maybe even up to 20 if you can. Just getting a good stretch through the body there. And then we're going to come up, change legs. So the other legs going forward, heel on the floor. Okay, hands coming in front, placing them on that bent knee and then hinging forward at the hips and just holding there. You can really feel the stretch down the back of the leg there. So this is helping your muscles recover from the exercise you've been doing. And then we're going to come up from there. So that's the first cooling down exercise. The other one is sit back in the chair. Well, not, maybe not too far because my legs are so short. And we're just going to put the heel on the floor, but this time the other legs are sort of tucked under. Try and draw the toes back towards the body as much as you can. So you get this delightful or not delightful stretch around the back of the leg there, lower part of the leg. So we're stretching out there, getting a really good stretch. We're sitting up through with the body, stretching away. Again, counting up to 10, maybe more than 10 if you feel like it. And then just bending the knee and relaxing for a moment, taking the other leg forward, hands coming back again. Really bring those toes. It looks like you're doing nothing, but bring those toes back towards the body. Heel on the floor. Really working the lower part of the leg. So very tempting to forget to breathe. So make sure you breathe in and out. And then just relax from that. Okay, I'm just going to turn back towards the front, towards the camera to finish. That's just a little, little walk around doing some strength exercises and some balance exercises. So maybe I'll see you at one of my classes. They're at three o'clock in the afternoon, Monday to Friday. Um, otherwise, you've got this um, that you can actually turn on any time and do a little bit of exercise. So do enjoy yourself, stay safe, don't do more than you should do.